Planetary devastation! No! <clears throat> Naruto! I'm going to save you! CA, thanks for coming through. We're going to be kicking off what I hope to be the first of many, many more videos like this. That's a special unboxing we got here from one of my favorite series. You can probably tell my shirt might give that away. And that's Naruto. So I've only learned about this recently. This is such a such a cool thing. But there's these awesome studios abroad that do what's called resin statues. And that's basically these. Uh, Awesome figurines that capture some of the most iconic moments from the series that we know and love. This piece in particular is the one that brought me into the collectible scene, so I wanted to share that with you. And yeah, let's get into it together, guys. All right, guys, and just to give you a point of reference, I'm about six feet tall. So you can see this box is about half as tall as me. And when it comes to the size of the statues themselves, you'll see if you start shopping around, there's like one eighth, one six, this one in particular is one fourth. Hopefully we won't end up having any breaks, but if that's the case, I'll be sure to link you in with some tips on how we can possibly fix those. Let's go ahead and open this up, see what we got. All right. All right guys, so in here we got the first part of Susano as well as the parts where it was amplified by the power of the tail beast. Now with this centerpiece here, it probably weighs about 10, 15 pounds by itself, but that weight is important though to help maintain the integrity of the statue as a whole. There were a few points on here where you'll see it got chipped and that happened on multiple parts of the statue, but all in all, it looks great. And next up we have Susano's legs here which fortunately came out intact, which I'm very appreciative of. Wow, look at this. And now you'll see with this final form of Susano, they went with the matte finish instead of the typical translucent resin. And it was a cool choice because I, I think it paid off in terms of bringing Susano to life. Following things up, we now have the base featuring Hashirama and Madara's face as well as the Rennie Sharingan in the front. And so guys, I actually do have a custom Maja case display coming, which we'll be able to utilize for future statues. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and build this one on my desk. And let's take a look and see how it turns out. This is that last piece of resin that fortunately didn't have any breaks. Where we got the nice LEDs that's gonna make this piece even more spectacular. This one in particular from Cartoon World Studios does require AAA batteries, just so you know. But I'm gonna show you some other options that I got from Band Collectibles, so stay tuned. All right, so here we are, guys. Let's go ahead and dive into some of these pieces. Here. This is one stance of Sasuke there. And that's a piece of the Chidori. Chidori. 
The resin looks really, really good. Super high quality. We have another piece of resin there for the actual bow itself. Full look at that there. Yep, yep, look at that. Everything is perfect. Didn't get damaged in any kind of way. This is the other stance of Sasuke, which I'll probably be going with. And finally, yep, that's the other arm for Indra. All right. This piece here, if I can get it out, there we go. Excellent, you see that? Got the Cartoon World logo on the back. And that's another stand, so let's get that set up. First up, we have Sasuke with the very famous Ram sign. Jiha logo on the back. Of course, here we have Sasuke in the more dynamic pose. Following that up, this is Sasuke's Chidori. All right, guys, and we are nearly complete. Final part is to get out those tail Vs. Now these should be some familiar faces that everyone recognizes. <laughs> now, unfortunately you'll see here with the three tails Isobu, I did have a break where part of the tail got stuck into the styrofoam packaging. And as I alluded to before, these kind of things can happen with resin statues, but Minor breaks like this, we should be able to take care of, so no worries. First up, we have Shukaku, the one tails. Next up is Matatabi, the two tails. Up third is the three tails, Isobu. And man, this one again is that one you gotta be careful with taking out because you can just see the level of detail that went into the sculpting. All the little spikes, his claws, the shape of his tail. This was beautifully, beautifully done. And next up, this tail beast here should have a name that's much more easier for us to remember, especially for those of us coming over from Dragon Ball Z. This is none other than the Monkey King, Son Goku. Keeping things in order, so this is the five tails, Kokuo. And then the six tails, Saiken. On to our next tail beast here, we have Cho Mei. Unfortunately, with the seven tails, we had multiple breaks in the packaging. And it's again, you know, as I was mentioning earlier, when you do resin statues, unfortunately, there are parts that can be very fragile. I got the wings and the small part of the claw that broke off. Now, when you have major breaks, that's probably when you want to reach back out to the studio or the, the seller. But more minor things like this, these are definitely things that you can feel empowered to take on yourself. And that's definitely what I'm gonna do in this case. Our next tail beast here needs no introduction. This is a character you guys know and love very well. This is Gyuki, better known as the Eight Tails. All right, and finally, saving the best for last, this is none other than Karama, the Nine Tails. Next, this piece just attaches magnetically on there, like so. I actually took off the mask real quick to get the right arm on. As you'll see within the socket here, it actually has like kind of like a gum siding and then the steel rod that connects in there. So that kind of helps it sit even more securely. Next up here, you'll see we got the left arm in there as well. And now next up here, you see I put the right side of the bow. You see, if I bring it up a little bit closer, it does have that steel rod in there, which helps have it fit securely. Next, we're actually gonna showcase this stance of Sasuke first because I actually prefer the other one. So this is the only one that can connect directly to the base. So we're gonna showcase that after put it over here first so you can see what you think. So if you prefer to showcase it this way, just be careful because his hair comes right up to the tip of where Susano is located. Just like that. Have an idea of what this version of Sasuke will be like if you like this stance. As I mentioned before, though, I really prefer taking advantage of the opportunity to use this stance to showcase Sasuke. There it is. Let me know 
not forget as well, they did include the sword. It has a notch right here on the back where you can put it at. So that's like that. nice and easy. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, this is by far the piece that I prefer. So let's get Sasuke set up so you can see what that looks like. Let's see, I just think this one looks amazing. Sasuke there, Chidori, that's right there to the back. Now there's a steel rod in there, so that helps keep it strong, keep this stable. The Chidori by itself as well, uh, just so you guys know, comes right up to where Susano's left leg is. So just kind of be careful as you're putting it in there. You can see it coming together with that final attack. This is almost ready. Let's finish it. Oh, looks like Chomei is giving us all kind of issues. Yeah, looks like the magnet came off, so we're gonna have to fix that. We'll come back to that later. All right guys, so this is what it looks like in action. Sasuke, most iconic moment to finalize the series, or at least the most important battle between Naruto and Sasuke, and what they've meant uh, to the story as a whole. This is what it looks like. Again, we got those repairs we gotta do. I think they're gonna attach it to the end. If I feel like it's too much, we'll do a separate video for that. But uh, stay tuned guys, I got more statues coming up. Thanks for tuning in. This is CA. I'm out.